some major improvements are coming to Detroit Metro Airport, but it could also lead to some major headaches for yeah, the, travelers. Uh, sorry about that. The airport is launching an $85 million project to rehab tunnels on John Dingle Drive. And all of this is coming after that flooding that left so many people stranded over the summer. You remember that? It led to missed flights, long delays, you name it. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is at Metro Airport this morning with the plan and why travelers are being urged to arrive even earlier for future flights. Peter. Well, you know, airport dads rejoice. Now they're going to be able to get the full family out of the house a little bit earlier to get to the airport. But jokes aside, you're really want, wanting to plan ahead when coming to Detroit Metro Airport and coming here to the McNamara Terminal, especially with all of this construction. Now it's going to be a year round construction project and it's going to last the next three years. Every traveler when catching a flight has a different answer to this question. How early are you going to get here? I'm going to get here earlier. I'm not going to try to get here in the daytime. I'm going to be here early as I can to avoid any kind of traffic mess, detours, accidents, so on. How early do you get to the airport to catch your flight? Two hours. With construction starting on Monday, lane closures, delays, is that going to impact you at all? And are you going to get to the airport earlier? No, it's not going to affect us because we won't be traveling Monday. What about in the future for three years? Uh, well, yeah, we'll just get here probably an extra hour early, three hours early. But starting on Monday, January 8th, construction consisting of lane closures and delays on Dingle Drive will impact traffic and might cause some delays. And because of this, some travelers like Hani Abdullah may arrive to the airport a little earlier than they would in the past. For me, for my comfort zone, 100%, yes. For my wife, absolutely not. She, she'll uh, cut it close, but I will definitely be adjusting. The project will be year-round and will take place over the next three years. They will rehab road tunnels, improve road surfaces, lighting, ventilation, fire protection, electrical, and importantly, stormwater retention. I'm pretty sure it's probably needed. In August of 2023, Detroit was hit with heavy rains and the Dingle Drive Tunnel flooded. Passengers trying to get to the terminal trekked through water and walked along the side of the shutdown road. Many missed flights and the traffic backups were massive, both inside and outside of the airport. Frustration. I can't believe that, like, you know, that the major airport like this is totally shut down. In 2025, during the second phase of the project, they plan on rehabbing exterior drainage and waterproofing systems. It's still in the planning phase, but over the next three years, this is just a important reminder to arrive earlier and expect delays. Hopefully it doesn't impact us that much, but uh, anything to improve the uh, infrastructure is always a good thing. Now the airport does note that access to parking decks, parking lots and the Westin Hotel will not be impacted and most of this construction project that will be going on for the next three years was mostly funded by a $1.2 trillion bipartisan bill, infrastructure bill that was passed back in 2021. Reporting at DTW, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Uh, yeah, it's going to be short term pain for long term gain, but yeah, you're going to have to arrive at the airport a little early. Thanks a lot, Peter. Appreciate